Hello, my name is Tomislav and in this tutorial I will explain you how to use, manage or administrate the very top slider block on the Custom Hobby Decals website. So let's get started. Currently I'm logged in as administrator because we will need the dashboard. So the section that will, I will explain you is the very top with a video animation behind and these custom buttons. I will explain you how to either add these buttons, either remove them or add some other page link or anything else or even replace the video as well. So first let's go into our dashboard. In the dashboard we have a block section right here on the left side and we have to click on blocks. Here, here we can see a number of different blocks. These two blocks are the blocks for the home page. Latest from block is the slider of blog posts, which is right here. So we shouldn't touch that. We as well have product sli sliders in tabs. That is the block section right here that is the slider of these weekly featured products so we shouldn't be touching that as well and then we have five other blocks the block that we use on the home page the block right here is the slider home page slides widow block so in order to edit modify this section we have to click edit on the slide slider homepage slides with a block edit right here all right if we open this in a visual or text editor we, we can as well edit it like this or we can use UX builder for this Alright, here it is. So once it open up, we will expand the banner on the left. Then we expand this text box. And if we want to change the video behind the background video, we have to click on banner right here and then click on this icon and click options. There we go, we have a lot of options for this banner. We can change the height of this section, the way it slides, if we have multiple slides, the background image, the border, URL, or the video. In this case, we use a video MP4, and here is the link from our media gallery, where the video is uploaded. We can as well include a widow from the YouTube above, but it's always recommended to use a widow MP4, which is uploaded into our media gallery. So, in order to change the video, simply change this URL and point to somewhere else in our media gallery. If we want to alter this text on the very top, supplying the world with quality custom hobby vinyl and water slide decals text we have to open this text first text block and click options and here we can see the code of this section right here actually we don't have to open it this way we can as well click on the slides itself we can click on it and it will appear here we can open this in the text editor and we can style the, the content that we use here and of course click OK on the very top left. And that's it. Here you change this content. And as for buttons, we have actually here a small divider as well. That's the small line over here. We can as well delete it or set some other options for it or copy it, duplicate and such. And we have four buttons. If we click on the icon again and click options, 
we can see the text that is right here for this button we can see the letter case should it be all uppercase or lowercase we can see a color scheme layout icon and such and on the very bottom left we can see a link here we paste a URL where do we want this button to point and we can choose the target as well whether we want it this new page to be open in a new window or in the same window so right here we can see only one section of the URL pasted that's the way this works so basically on example I'm gonna show you if we open let's say let's say contact us page if we want the button to point on the contact us page we have to copy entire URL behind the customhobbydecos.com link so entire URL after the first section of the URL we have to copy like in this case help advice help contact us we copy that and we paste it right here after we paste it here we select all other options if we want to alter something and of course we have to click then apply in order to apply these changes the same is basically for all other buttons if we click on plastic RC diecast and other it's it's basically the same here is the URL that is actually the the part of the URL behind the dot com and all other settings and here is the text typing this is the same for all other buttons either for wargaming or do it yourself water slide if we want to add a new button we can simply click on this button do it yourself water slide and duplicate it once we duplicate it another button appears and now we can alter the text for this button and change the link options below if we want to get rid of it we select it we can as well delete it over here all right and there we go the button is deleted as well as for all any of these buttons we can simply click on it as well and we can delete it over here if we want to add a new slide we have to either duplicate this one or add a new one with clicking on the plus button on the very top here are some other options like zooming in, zooming out, or how to view this slide either on a mobile phone, how it will look like, or on a tablet. Of course, when we are done with all the changes, it's very important to click update to update the slider itself. We can add new text box, add a new banner, or anything else by clicking on these plus buttons we click plus here and we then choose one of these many options we can either add a new text we can add a new image divider video button or title or anything else and that's basically it for this slide so it's really simple to alter this this but uh, bear in mind what happened in latest case if you change the URL of let's say we open plastic RC diecast and other page and it has a URL if we edit this page and change the permalink of this page which is now RC minus decals it used to be something else then these buttons won't work anymore if you change the URL of some of these pages that you have in the slide you have to alter the URL in the slider as well let's say if you add something else in here you would have to come in here and change 
a URL on a plastic RC diecast and other, not to point anymore on the dev address, but on the new permalink address that was just recently changed. I'm gonna close this example, actually this slide now, and open box once again. So, so the homepage slider is slider minus homepage slides minus video. We have four other slides. Why do we have all these slides and not just one? Well, the reason for that is because the demand was that each of these, which are on different pages, has different buttons in it. So, if we open, I'm going to navigate back to homepage in here. And show the current example why is this so. If we open Plastic RC Diecast and other, and if we open Wargaming Decals, the slider is different in each of these pages. In home page, there are four buttons which navigate to all these four pages. But but if we open Plastic RC Diecast and other, we can see. We don't have a URL button for that page because we are already on that page. We don't need the button for this page if we're already on it. So this is, we had to make it so, we had to create a new slider with new buttons. So if you, you change a URL of one of these pages, you have to check if that page is already, if that button is in one of these five one of these five blocks and it had th th this new permalink URL would have to be changed in all of these blocks so homepage wargaming is a block slider block for homepage wargaming page so if we open it up in here actually I already opened it it's military stickers this is the slide Homepage Wargaming. Homepage Plastic Slider is this one, which is on RC Decals page, which is Plastic RC Diecast and other page. And there is Do It Yourself and Homepage Custom Decals. So that's why there are five sliders. The first one is the first block slider is the homepage slider, and we have four other ones for all of these other pages. Again, we can either, we can as well delete these in here, we can view them, or we can directly edit them with a UX Builder. So that's basically that. So always bear in mind, if you change a page permalink URL, you have to check all of these buttons and alter that permalink URL on those buttons as well, because if you if you do, don't do so, those buttons won't work. And the way you edit the one slider is the same. You can edit all of the other ones because they are all the same with just different buttons. Of course, we can make them all different. We can add different background, different videos on each of these. We can add multiple slides in each of these. And that's it. Thanks for watching.